What's up guys, Eric Rivera here, Fitness Phenom, coming to you guys with another calisthenics workout. So, 50 pull-ups, 150 dips, 100 squats, starting with the pull-ups. So the rep scheme for this workout, 10 pull-ups, 10 dips, 10 pull-ups, 20 dips, 10 pull-ups, 30 dips, 10, 40, 10, 50, and then you finish off with a 100 squat cash out. So I did my 10 pull-ups onto those 10 dips. Once I'm done with those dips, then I move back to those pull-ups. The pull-ups remain at 10 reps throughout the entire workout. So get these 10 pulls in. But then the reps on those dips increase. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 on those dips. So for that second set, 20 dips after those pulls. So we have a classic push-pull combination here. You got your pulls with the pull-ups themselves, working the lats, biceps, forearms, grip. Then you have your push, which is going to come from the dip, obviously. Working the chest and triceps, and with, with most calisthenic movements, just about all of them, you get that core work in without actually working on that core, or isolating that core, I should say. Alright, so, essentially a full body workout. Nice little burner, depending on how fast you can get this done. Onto my 10 pulls. Right, and if you have the capacity to go unbroken on everything, by all means. Right? That was not my goal for this workout. I was just getting my reps in. Right, but that being said, obviously you want to attack it at high intensity or relatively high intensity. And then we have those 30 depths. Right, so push-pull combination with some squats at the end. And the squats are going to be 100 reps. That preferably should be done unbroken as the finisher. So if you go 100 reps at the end, awesome. Otherwise, obviously attack it, chip away, get it in however you can get it in. So broke it up this set. And then with all three movements, full range of motion. All the way down, lock out at the top, punch it up for those dips, and then obviously for those pull ups. Full extension at the bottom, chin over the bar, full range of motion, which is going to help recruit more muscle fibers, which will then help you become stronger, help you become fitter, and build more muscle. Back to those pulls, 10 reps. Down and up. And this is after my workout. So I'm at my local gym here in New York City. Got in a little bodybuilding session in. Did a lot of pulls. I did a lot of back work. Some rows, all that good stuff. And then I like to finish with a calisthenic session if I don't just do calisthenics that day. I still like to get my calisthenics in. So I throw it in as a burner here, as a finisher. Little 10 minute workout. Um, but this can be your entire workout, depends on how fast you get it in. Right? This can be a 20 30 minute workout, depending on your capacity. Or it can be a 10 minute workout, the same way I did it. Right? You're still going to get that work in. You're still getting those 50 pull-ups. You're still getting 150 dips. And then you're finishing off with those 100 squats. Flex on them. So 
think I was on my set of 40 dips. At this point, the blood is flowing. You got that pump going. You can see the vascularity and the veins coming out, popping out. Got that blood flow going. Lactic acid build up, so it's going to get a little harder. Obviously, the mass doesn't help, but it is what it is. Back to those pulls, 10 reps. When you do these pull-ups, have your arms do all of the work. Do not break at the hips, at the knees, meaning do not kick or kip. You want your arms, your lats, those biceps. You want those muscle groups doing all of the work for you when it comes to these pull-ups. That's going to get you stronger, make you stronger, make you fitter. Recruiting those large muscle groups in the back. All right, on to those dips, 50 reps. So finishing off with dips, 50 is a big number. But that's how you become mentally stronger as well, hitting that big set, right? Hitting that big set under fatigue, so getting that set of 50 reps. Obviously not unbroken, I broke it up. But still getting it in nonetheless. I think I broke it up into three or four sets. Checking the time here. Peep the shirt. Legacy in the making. I love this shirt. I got it at Venice Beach Gold's Gym. When I went out to California for the first time in 2015. Legacy in the making. Uh, I'm getting these dips in. And remember, once you're done with the pulls and the dips, so once you're done with these 50 dips, you have the cash out, which is 100 squats. A cash out is something you're going to finish off the workout with. So, obviously, as you notice, there are no squats in between any of these sets. But for the cash out, also known as a buyout, 100 air squats, and I get those done unbroken which you'll see in a little bit once I'm done with my dips all right here comes the transition 50 reps done you can see the veins the vascularity got that pump going fix the camera a little bit show you guys that turf <laughs> then we get these 50 squats in I'm sorry, 100 squats. So 100 again is a big number. But you just gotta go one rep at a time. Full range of motion, just like the pull-ups, just like the dips. Full range of motion, which is going to obviously work on that mobility. Right? You don't use it, you lose it. So with squats, if you don't have the ability to squat all the way down, if you don't practice that, I highly encourage that. And just like the pull-ups and dips, you're recruiting more muscle fibers. Muscle fibers in those hamstrings, those glutes, the quads. I want all those muscles to work to the best of their ability to their highest potential. So full range of motion, all the way down and back up. Notice I'm keeping my head up, chest up. I'm not hinging. You can't see my feet here from this angle, but I'm driving through those heels. I'm not getting on my toes as I'm squatting back up, right? which is a common fault I often see with my athletes when I train them, switching, switching the angle here, 
So you guys can see that full range of motion squat. You want to drive through those heels as to grass. So when you're standing up, drive through those heels, not the toes. You never want to drive through those toes no matter what type of squat you're doing, whether that's a body weight squat, an air squat, back squat, front squat, squat with kettlebells, squat with dumbbells, doesn't matter. You want to drive through those heels when you squat. And from this angle, you can see the head up, the head's up, the chest is up. I'm not hinging or bending down for the squat. I'm sitting back. Now you want to attack the squat the same way. So finishing up my squats here. All right, follow me on the gram, guys. Fitness Phenom 21. Got this done in a little over 10 minutes. Like and subscribe. Let's level up. Let's get it.